Hi guys, Steph here. Now, I received a email from a gentleman who was asking me about Schaefer snorkel pens. Now, he seemed a little bit confused with um, trying to describe and mention some of the parts within his pen. So, what I thought I'd do is just show you a breakdown of a Schaefer snorkel fountain pen just to maybe make it a little bit easier for you people to understand so what we've got here is a Schaefer snorkel uh, special fountain pen um, it's not a how-to so what I'm going to do is just describe to you the parts inside a Schaefer snorkel and then to well after I've done that I'll put the pen together and we'll do a very brief review of the pen so let's get on with it nice and simply We've got the cap to the pen, we've got the barrel to the pen, which are the most important parts. And then inside we have a, a sack protector, okay, which speaks for itself, the sack goes inside. Inside the barrel we've got this, what we term as a filler tube. Okay, let's put that to one side. To the end of the barrel we have, there we go, a what we term as a blind cap. To the top of the pen we've got the nib with the feed inside. Um, these nibs actually will unscrew but there's no need to unscrew it if, well, if you don't need to. They're quite simple to clean themselves. So there's a nib, nib with the feed. There's this section, obviously the feed goes inside the section. Inside the barrel we've got the spring. Um, this little black piece here, in fact what I'll do, let me get my little tweezers hopefully, there we go. This little piece here is the sack plug, okay, that goes inside the sap protector um, inside the plug there we've got the snorkel tube there and this little screw hit whoops a daisy yep don't lose them <laughs> let's try and get it again let's pick it up there we go let's get hold of it with our tweezers there we go we've got a little screw there now this screw, um, what it actually does, it actually goes inside the filler tube there, comes out of this end here and that, once it's installed in the barrel, screws onto the blind cap on the end there. Okay, now what I've done, obviously, like I say, I've taken it apart. It's not a how-to video, it's just a video to show you all the different bits inside a Schaefer snorkel. Now, to service the, uh, the Schaefer snorkel, there's a few things that you need. One being a new sack. You can see this one is what we term as a neck sack. Now, the sack obviously goes inside the sack protector. And then inside the barrel just to the end there you have a there we go you have an o-ring okay so that sits just inside the end of the barrel now to the end of the feed just there you can see this little sort of like a little recess what you need is, let me pick it up with my tweezers, is this little gasket or what we term as a point seal which sits on top there. Okay, and then last but not least you need this little sort of, uh, yeah, a little rubber washer or a rubber seal and that rubber seal sits inside 
the plunger knob inside there there's actually one already in so sometimes what you may find it doesn't need to be replaced but I generally replace everything so the pen then has been fully serviced okay so what we're going to do I'm going to leave it at that so that's basically inside the Schaefer snorkel fountain pen so what I'll do now we'll put the new sack on we'll put the new o-ring inside there we'll put a new point seal to the end to the end of the feed there we'll replace the um, like I say the blind the blind cap seal sorry not the blind cap the blind knob seal inside the blind knob in there and once we've done that I'll come back and show you the pen fully assembled and voila all done as you can see comes in the original Schaefer case if we open it up there you go Schaefer's to the back we've got the original instructions Schaefer snorkel pen if we open that up there you go it gives you the instructions on how to fill your Schaefer fountain pen let's take the pen out of the case pop that to one side and there we have it the pen finished ready serviced and ready for a new home so what we've got here I believe to be a Schaefer snorkel special fountain pen now the Schaefer snorkel pens they came in lots of different variations they can be a little bit confusing as as in this particular case but I believe it to be the special the size of it capped is 141 millimeters capped around the barrel it's a nice um, 11 millimeters in diameter it comes with gold fill trim now you can see it's got a gold fill cap band to the bottom and this is the quarter inch gold fill cap band so that's why I believe it to be a special you can see the very recognizable Schaefer clip with the word Schaefer's to the clip and then what you'll also notice to the very top there this is the non white dot model um, as you've already seen it's a, um, a snorkel so you've got the plunger knob there to the end and all in all in lovely condition if I just look over the camera we've got the barrel imprint that reads um, Schaefer, sorry, W.A. Schaefer Pen Company for Madison, Iowa, USA made in USA so a lovely, lovely pen now again the confusion, the colour I believe this is a pastel green um, but they also did what we term as a sage green so is it sage green is it pastel green hmm confusing I'm gonna call it the pastel green now let's unscrew the cap let's give you a couple of the customary twirls okay let's pop the cap down let's take you up to the section you can see the the threads are actually stainless steel threads you've got this section with these lines to make it nice and comfortable and the confusing sort of element of this pen is that the Schaefer snorkel special is normally what we term as an open nib but in this particular case you can see it's got this conical and it's actually a palladium silver triumph conical nib so again a little bit confusing um, if we keep it still you'll see it reads Schaefer registered US Pat office and then to the very bottom made in USA let's show you the feed underneath there's the feed and you can see the snorkel is sat nice and comfortably as it should be just inside the feed there okay as in always the Schaefer pens 
very comfortable, very nice to hold <coughs> and they make lovely everyday writers. Now for you people that don't know how do you fill the Schaefer snorkel what you'll do is simply turn the plunger knob to the end and you'll see the snorkel retract out of the feed There you go, until you hear that sort of a clicking noise you will then pull out the plunger knob like so dip the snorkel in the nib and push down in one swift movement on the plunger knob you may actually be able to hear that sort of hissing sound to the end of the barrel which is precisely what we like to hear so let's let's actually fill it for you and let's see how the pen writes so we pull out the plunger knob as far as it'll go dip the snorkel in the ink and I'm quite sure you could actually hear that that lovely sort of gushing sound and then what we do we simply turn the plunger knob as far as it'll go and you'll see the snorkel retracts back into the nib let's bring on our our paper and let's see how the pen writes so this is the first time I've actually tested it after actually servicing it so you see everything that I will see so let's uh, get a nice view so what we have is a Schaefer snorkel and as we said this one being what we term as a special I'm dating the pen from the 1950s or the mid 1950s as we said made in USA and the colour hmm I don't know let's put it as pastel pastel green now I know I don't really need to ask the question whether it has a flexi nib because these pens do not tend to have flexible nibs they're quite a rigid nib as you can see and this this model is writing as you can see with a with a fine a fine line but writing nicely as you can see we're getting quite a fine line on this pen so for them people that like to write with a fine line it'll make the ideal pen so there we have it and then well actually what I'll actually do as well I'm going to actually put some um, tissue and let's just show you let's unscrew the plunger knob again and as we unscrew it there you go till you hear the clicking noise we pull out the plunger okay now what I'm going to do there's a little blob there as you can see so generally what you do is do this over the ink bottle but if I now let's lift that up slightly make sure I've got a good view in the in the camera and if I push down on the plunger knob look at that okay so you could see that squirting out and if I just pull the plunger out again and again you can see some blobbing going up so as I say don't pull the plunger out um, when you are actually got this over your paper but if we press down once more there you go so before I make a big mess which I think I've already done <laughs> let's screw down the plunger knob again let's just give it a wipe what I'll do I'll flush the pen out once I finish the video and what we'll do we'll try and find a lovely home 
for this lovely Schaefer Snorkel special fountain pen that has been fully serviced and is ready to go. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at the video. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget subscribe if you haven't subscribed and you'll get notified of any other videos that I make and don't forget people we've still got a big problem wherever you are around the world stay safe but for now I'll just say bye bye for now